Hello, how are you? Welcome into this Leo Tarot reading. It is going to be from the 1st until the 7th of July. So that first week of July, we are looking into your love and your life situations, what is going on around you. But we basically want to see what is coming in and then what we do not see coming. So let us get started. Remember, guys, this is a general reading. If it resonates with you, you will know without a doubt. And if it doesn't, please check back next week. You can also check your sun, moon and rising to see if they are more in a line but let's get started with love energy let's start off and see what's currently going on around you in love then we want to see what we do not see coming which is under the deck so let's get started with love right now for you leo we have got the five of water this is a card of a bit of heartache and pain because this is the five of cups things are not turning out the way that you had hoped okay not seeing the positive in a situation and crying over spilt milk this is a card of sadness and heartache and pain usually brought on because of a person's behavior or the way that a situation is unfolding it does say you know do not cry over spilt milk um it could mean that something has already taken place with you so let's have a look and see in what what energy is coming up here next with regards to this? There could have been some kind of heartbreak or problems in a situation. Somebody could have done something to hurt you as well. So let's have a look and see what is going on here. We've got a couple of cards coming up. It just fell out. The Seven of Voices, which is Seven of Swords, Knight of Emotions in the reverse position, and Hierophant in the reverse position. Let's grab out... You have to do, you have to learn everything you can learn from this situation with the hierophant coming in there. I'm going to explain to you. Another knight has come up here in the reverse position. And then we got the three of wands. So what I'm picking up on here is a person's behavior. Okay, we are looking at someone's behavior here because and it's a repetitive behavior because you've got these two knights that have come up in your reading. The knights are about actions. And I feel like you're dealing with a person's person's actions or a person's behavior. I almost feel like somebody's playing, you know. I don't feel like they're serious at all. I feel like they're playing um, with you or playing with life and they don't really take anything seriously. Um, the seven of voices coming up here does mean that this could be a repetitive cycle between you and this person. It has something that they have done to you before. It's also sometimes known as the sneaky card of the tarot because it does feature all these little foxes on there and it can be a person who sometimes is doing things behind your back or they keep secrets from you or they intentionally are playing around. This person has got a vibe of not taking things very seriously with the knight of emotions being here knight of cups and the knight of materials which is knight of pentacles both of them are in the reverse position so it kind of shows like um their behavior especially with the knight of cups coming in here that reverse position is a very big flirty energy it is very flirty this is a person who likes to flirt with a lot of different people likes to talk to a lot of different people um, it's almost like a game to them. They like to get involved with different people. They're always on the lookout for their next person. Or should we say maybe victim? I don't know from the energy that I'm picking up on the table here. This to me is a person who feels like a player energy. We might even pick up another knight like the knight of wands in this reading. Um, the hierophant coming in between these two energies here is an indication that you need to learn what you can learn from the situation. And one of the things that comes up here this is also Taurus's energy one of the things that does come up here is that you need to learn about people you need to learn that certain people are not those people that will fall in love with you and there are other people out there who will promise you so many different things they're going to promise you forever they're going to promise you love they're going to promise you their heart their soul their time but they don't mean that they just speak the words that are being put into their mind at the moment in the emotion that they're feeling but with that Knight of Materials, Knight of Pentacles coming up here in that reverse position, that is an indication that they do not take things seriously and they are not moving at all in any direction towards commitment. And with the Three of Wands coming up next to it there, it's in the reverse position. It almost like it tells me that the situation here, it's, it's not going to move. It's not going to grow. It's not going to change. It's going to remain in this energy of as it is. 
it's always going to be this back and forth between you and this person. They will come in, they will make you feel the things that you're feeling. Then they're not gonna then they're gonna make the promises, but they will never live up to those promises. And at the moment with the three of wands in the reverse position, it's almost like you're trying to see what they're gonna do. You're hoping that they're gonna do the right thing, but you're not doing anything about sort of like their behavior. So I wanna see what we do not see coming. The nine of earth. So you got to stand up for yourself here. That's this energy. It does say this is about it's in this deck. It's going to talk more about material things. I'll explain to you what it means with regards to like relationship, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone. And it does say successful self-employment. But this usually means standing up and being independent and being strong and taking control of your life because that's a card of power. That is a card of being in control, being in power of your own existence, um, maybe even taking back your power from this person. Because the three of wands kind of shows that you're allowing them to come in and go and come and go as they want to. And there's almost like there's no consequences to their behavior. The nine of earth or nine of pentacles it's never going to happen with that energy that is a person who is completely in control of their life they are making decisions about what comes in and they are they controlling um uh, and even preventing negative situations like this coming towards them because they say no. So they are in control. I do see you taking back your power with this person. And I do also see it does say spending quiet time alone. So I feel like you are pulling back your energy from them. I don't think with the Nine of Pentacles being there, you're going to allow this person to come in and keep on hurting you like this again and again okay so let's get in here and have a look and see life for you is there anything that might tie in with this connection here or is this going to be something completely different coming in with regards to what what is happening in your life which can be a lot of different things i mean we can be looking at your career we can be looking at um living situations family um even money so let's see what will come in here for you with regards to life okay so let's see it might tie in with relationship. It all depends what's the strongest energy in the reading or what it is that you really need to be hearing right now. Three of water. Okay. So you got a celebration. Then we're going to see what turns under the deck, what we do not see coming. That's a positive card. That is a positive card. The three of water is so different from the three of uh, the five of water up there. You've got a celebration, a wedding, a graduation, or a birth announcement. The need to have more fun. I really feel like this is in your energy right now. I feel like you're going to be... <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. My chest is a little bit close. I feel like you're going to be... Um, really stepping away from this five of cups energy i see yourself being wanting to have that more fun in your life there i see you wanting to get out i see you wanting to meet different people i see you just wanting to have a lighter energy than what is going on here you might even decide to start spending more time with some of your family members going out there if you get invited out to events or even out for the evening with your friends or co-workers i kind of feel like you're going for that you're saying you know what I'm going to come out of this energy. I'm going to not going to be sitting here worrying about what this person is doing over and over in my life. I'm going to get out there. You might even decide to start dating, to be honest, um, and try to be happy. Try to look for your own happiness here with the Three of Cups coming in, which is a very positive card. It can even be something coming in your life that gives you cause to celebrate. So let's have a look and see. You've got a Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Look at that power. Two nines coming in there. No, you're taking control. You are taking control of your existence. Congratulations, Leo. There you go. Let's see what else will come up. Ten of Pentacles here. <clears throat> Focusing on all the good stuff. The Ace of Materials in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles as well. Reverse energy. Okay, we're moving a little bit off here. Um, with regards to life in general right now we are looking at two different energies that have come through so the first energy that has come through here is you definitely wanting to feel in a much better place it is you um, wanting to be in a place where I think you change your mind about this person. That's what I can tell you. The star card coming up, which is Aquarius' energy in the reverse position. It's like what you wanted so much before, you're not so sure about it anymore. You're looking at this person's behavior towards you. You're looking at how they have treated you, what they've been repeatedly doing, and how you are feeling. 
being around them or connecting to them. And I see you kind of like taking back your power, opening up your world to have more fun and being happy in this nine of cups here. It's like I need to do what I need to do to do to be happy in my world. So what is it I need to do? I need to get out and have talk to my friends. I need to um, take care of my health. I need to expand my life in some kind of way that is going to be positive for me. And that is you creating your own happiness. Now, there's another energy that does come through here as well. We've got three pentacles lying in the center of this reading. All of these pentacles are in reverse position. So this feels like a little bit of a warning for me with regards to finances right now. The Ace of Pentacles, it's usually money that is coming in, but it's in the reverse position. So it's almost like you want to start something or you start something different, but it sort of stops very quickly. And with the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles being here, in that reverse position. Be very careful of getting yourself into debt right now. Do not go off and go buy that new car. Just whoa. Um, be very careful of starting something new or even saying to yourself like I am going to remake my home right now. I'm going to go off here and I'm going to um, buy new furniture. I'm going to have a new start, maybe relocate to a new area. I'm going to start a new job. I'm going to do all of these things. In the current energy that I'm doing this reading, I feel like you should really pause right now because there's something new that is coming in here with the ace of materials which is this card here ace of pentacles that shows that you might make a decision about something like i said it can be a job offer it can be you deciding to start something new it can be you deciding to get into debt over something or relocate or or do something that's going to involve your stability when you do start this i feel like the timing is not right for this because it can put you into a place where you are financially not okay with a nine of pentacles it's a wrong decision in the reverse position a wrong decision that can put you into the ten of materials or ten of pentacles reverse okay which is like a situation in your home where financially you're not feeling okay and um, you are currently like trying to fix things almost with this energy so i feel right now a little bit of a warning coming in here with regards to like spending and changes in your life especially with regards to stability of any kind which can be work related uh date related um, anything like that, you know, spending of money, those kinds of things. Like if you're thinking, should I give up my pension? This would be a no, don't do that. You know what I mean? Um, I really feel like you should just pause for now until further notice. Okay, let's see what we do not see coming. <clears throat> the six of earth so don't worry i feel like this is not going to be for long for you you it's coming up again with the money coming in here this is six of pentacles so i really feel like at this moment in time wait a little bit longer okay um, it even says, yeah, gifts of money, time or effort. This is a very good energy, a new career opportunity. OK, and receiving a loan or paying off of debts. So I feel like there is going to be a change for you coming in, just not in this current energy time. Perhaps in a week or two, you can make some kind of change or move or even into the end of July with this. For some of you guys, this can even be you needing to hold tight right up until the end of the year because it is the earth energy earth or pentacles energy means the full year that you are in so this energy it shows that there is going to be a change in finances for you possibly even a new career opportunity and you might even be focusing on paying off your debts but what i can see is like this balance will be restored for you if you can avoid the unbalance from happening which is this energies at this moment i would say do that by not making any changes right now because there is going to come a time <clears throat> i would say the soonest it can possibly be would be in a week or two from now but in current energy rather pause it's almost like the timing here i mentioned it again is out for you to start something new it's like wait just a little bit longer and rather if an opportunity comes up rather don't take it as of now and wait for the next opportunity to show itself to you so it's almost like a warning the next opportunity or the next decision you're about to make could be the wrong one rather pause and wait for the next energy to come in so that you can get yourself into the six of Pentacles, which is a very balanced energy that is getting what you deserve with regards to money which is very good but there we go thank you so much my beautiful leo thank you for coming into this reading i'm sending my love and my light to you guys bye